going on guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be showing you the top five free thumbnail making websites slash software in my opinion so i'm going to show you what you could do with these thumbnail editors and they're all free some of them are websites some of them are softwares so that's all good and if you stay to the end of this video you can find out how you can get me to sub to you that will be good so let's get on with the video so first we have pick monkey okay then now you're probably wondering how do i get onto pickmonkey.com and then we've got search for pickmonkey.com it comes up for me then it brings you to this website you want to click on edit and then you want to find your image and double click then you've got to wait for it to load okay and then it brings you to this page and the first thing i do when i edit my thumbnails is i click on resize and then go on to 19 8, i mean 1280 by um what is it 720 so then you've got a good thumbnail size and it looks all good and there's a couple of notes that i want to say is that i used to use this myself and i think it is very good so you have crop was pretty good you probably don't want to crop it you've got canvas color but you wouldn't want to use that either then you can rotate it and all of that stuff like that and that but it's, i'm not sure why i'd want to do that you can change the exposure what i normally like i normally put my exposure a bit just to kind of give it a bit more of a poppy feel but i'm not going to do that now and sharpen so yeah that's good so then if you go onto this bit here this is where you have like loads of different th effects type things we can put on it i'm not sure why i'd want to use these but if you see the the like crown thing that means that you've got to it's the paid version because most of these things have a paid version as well and anyway so there's dark edges that's pretty cool like it kind of gives it like i'm not sure quite a good effect and there's loads of other effects that you can go through so i definitely recommend this and then you've got stuff like you beauty gurus or whatever where there's all of this stuff but most of these you have to pay for but there's almost there's quite a bit like look i look beautiful now don't tell me that i don't so now let's move on to the text so you can choose what text you want it because it uses your own fonts was very good all you've got to do is click add text it comes up with that let's just do um what should i tell let's do top by thumbnails oh sorry this doesn't really make sense and then you just got loads of different effects or whatever and yeah it's pretty good you can make it bigger you can change colors and everything so bold the size let's just move it up a bit that's all good and then change font so that's brilliant you can change color everything so you've got basically everything almost everything that you can do on photoshop and then if we move on to the overlays so you can add your own overlays so it's kind of like but there's also like different things because we want to put a heart on there because like why not there we go and then but i'm just kind of going over this kind of just like quickly but this one you've got to pay for and if you click on it it says yeah so that doesn't go too well and you've got arrows as well so yeah this is definitely a good software to start off the video next we have frames so there's loads of different type of frames and i i've never really personally used them because it's kind of a bit dumb but yeah there's all of these ones so if you want to use them you can and yeah next we have texture so you can have some pretty cool textures like a space Burst. there's loads of different things it's up to you see that water one i don't really like that one but anyway i think you can get some good effects of this one and yeah next we have themes so there's just different type of themes that you can have like snow and all of that so it's definitely good for a th for a free thumbnail making software so this is very good for a free thumbnail making software you can also edit just random images with it it doesn't have to be a thumbnail or anything that's good so to save the image you've got to click on the save and then it gets you to sign up with your email so i'll meet you when i've done that once you've clicked sign up you need to think of a username or like a nickname or whatever and then click ok so now it brings you to this you can save whatever you want change the quality you can change the dimension and everything and then if you see in the corner it says file size and then you can like if you make it like a better but it goes up and if you put it down it goes down so that's all good then you want to press save to my computer or you can click on here and it says onedrive or dropbox but i'm going to save it to my computer and then it downloads it and then it's beautiful of course i can make much better if i want to but i just quickly went through it to show you guys what you can do 
Secondly, we have PixLR. Okay then, to get onto PixLR.com, all you got to do is pick, search PixLR.com. Simple as. And then you want to go onto Web Apps, and then it brings you to this page. What we want to do, launch Web App, and then you want to make sure you allow Flash. You can, And then you want to press Leave Page. And then you've got this. So I'd o press Open from Computer, and then you've got my image, what I've made. Now you've got this up, you want to go into image, image size, you want to make sure it's 1280 by 720 and then click OK. So now we've got our image and this kind of reminds me of the online free Photoshop. I used to make a lot of things in here when I wasn't good but now I've got Photoshop and I make my thumbnails and that. But this is still a very good software and yeah. So I'd recommend this if you kind of know how to use Photoshop because it's basically got the same tools and all of that. So there's loads of adjustment, adjustment filters, adjustments where you can change all of the different things to make it look different and all of that. So yeah, you can also give it a type of gradient thing over it. I'm not sure why I'd want to do that because now I look like I'm dying in a pool of lava and this one I look like I just got eaten. And there's, but there's loads of other stuff. You might want to use it, might not. It doesn't have a, as much effects as like the other one, but you can still do like the basics. You can make text, top five thumbnails. And then you can change like the size, make it as big as you want. You can move it and all of that, change the font. And yeah, it's all good. Let's go for this one here. And then we go, we can change the color. And uh, let's change it to that. There we go. So it might have as many effects as all of the other stuff, but it's still pretty decent. So, yeah. Now we are Be Funky. So to get on BeFunky.com, all you've got to do is search BeFunky.com. How would you guess that? And then you want to go into Photo Editor, click Enable Flash, use once or use every time it is up to you and then you've got to wait for it to load click upload press computer find your image blah 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 so this reminds you of pick monkey it's kind of like the same kind of thing just a different like layout and all of that so let's do resize as we have done every time let's do was it 1280 by 720 i've actually got it right this time so what there we go so now you've got the crop, the rotate, the cutout, and all of that, so you can just, kind of like the lasso tool. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but yeah. Yes, you can, so you can do that. You've got a vignette, so all of that. Look at that, beautiful. And you've also got a blur feature, so you can give it a bit of a blur, and then possibly have like some text, maybe. So then it would make it stand out. Like if you go into the text, you can do whatever. I like the look. This one, then let's do top five thumbnails. You can do the blur thing on most of them, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so now we've got that, and it's all geared. There we go, we can make it bigger if we want, and all of that. So there we go, center. And then shall we change the size a bit? There we go, looking all good. We can give it a stroke, what's good? And you can also change the color of like that bit there, or you can just have none. What's all good? So I think the text looks pretty cool with the outline and everything. So let's get back into the effects. In the edit bit, and now we, there's all the tilts and all of that stuff. I'm not sure why I wouldn't do that either. But you could do the tint. That actually looks pretty cool, but you can change the amount and everything. I, I like that actually. And then the color mix, so you can kind of give it a bit more like red green or blue or whatever and mix it all about so i think this is very good so let's move on to touch up so this is kind of all the beauty things again where you'd want to make yourself look better and all of that so i'm not into all of that stuff but yeah now let's move on to effects so there we go we've got the black and white we've got the free and then of course there's the paid version as well the plus i'm not sure how much it is but we'll and see we've got all of the effects here and yeah i'm not sure why you'd want to use this one but it's kind of cool so yeah so then we have artsy but all of these you have to pay for so sorry for the guys who came in for the free bit i'm not i wouldn't pay for it personally but if you really wanted it you could but now we've got 
borders or frames or whatever. Kind of just like the pick monkey one, you can edit it a bit more. I'd say you got the drop shadow and all of that stuff. So yeah, it's all good. You can change the size on this one. Yeah, all good. And the one thing I'd say pick monkey's better about this thing is you've got to pay for a lot of things on Be Funky, but not as much on Pick Monkey. So we've got graphics library and we've got quite a lot of free here. And they also have this on Pick Monkey, but there's also just like, just hearts and all of that stuff. So that's all good. Next we have overlays. There's all the featured ones and yeah, all good. <laughs> um, there we go, look even more beautiful and lovely. Just. Why wouldn't I want to choose this? And then we've got the text, we've already gone over, and textures. Look at all of these, most of these are free. And yeah, it's kind of like the pick monkey ones. I'm not too sure why I'd want to use it, but they're there if you want to use it. So that's all good. So to save, all we've got to do is press save. So to save it, so to save it, press save, go on to computer, and then you can change PNG or JPEG. It is up to you. The PNG will probably be a bigger size here. Yeah. You change the name to Blah Blah because that's what most people. And then click download. You can save wherever it wants. And then you're done. After that, we have Pizzap. So to go on Pizzap.com, all you got to search is Pizzap.com. <laughs> So then once you're on the website, you just need to press start, then you go on to edit, and then you need to make sure that you're using flash, and it comes up with this. You click on the bit where like your image is, so if you want to take a picture or whatever, but I have it on my computer, it's this one here. And I think this is very good and all of that, so you can have zoom, so it's all very pretty nice and everything. You've got brightness, give it a bit of brightness, a bit of contrast, giving it a nice look, a bit of saturation. You can change the colour a bit. And then you've got filters. There's loads of classic filters you can put it on. And then whatever, you could just click remove to get it off. And there's other types. Look, you've got DJ and all of that stuff. So it's pretty good for something free. Next, we're moving on to stickers. Like, there's loads of different stickers. But the bit what you have to pray for is the ones where it says pro. And I'm not sure how much it is, again, but it's all good. And all you have to do to get these on is just click on it. And then just choose one and then look happy new year and then you can distort them in any way you want and then you got text you can put it in different bubbles or whatever change your text like here like hi yeah no there's glow was pretty cool i haven't seen one of them do it or like the other one the other editors doing that was these so they've got the background and then you can align it so you send to whatever then you've got the size, and yeah, it's all good. Also change the font to whatever font you want, and yeah. Next, there's a cut tool where you can just cut a bit of images out, but I wouldn't do that. But then we have borders or frames. There's loads of different frames. You could do what you want with them. And some backs. <laughs> Look, he wouldn't want that. Lovely. <laughs> and then we are moving on to, like, you can... It's kind of like picture in picture type thing. Add a photo, just pull it on there. And then we've got a meme maker. So you can also make memes in this. So yeah, how about that? <laughs> um, and then we've got paint. So because I'm the lovely artist, just like, look, it's an eight. Smiley face. Look at this. Who wouldn't want this? Like. If you want any graphics made, I'm very good at graphics. Just look at me, just tell me in the description and I'll make in the comment section and I'll make some graphics for you. And to save, all you have to do is press save, it's save an image, how about that? And then you choose a quality, oh you can't do it, rip, you've got to have standard. I mean you choose where it goes, whatever you want to save it and then you are done. So that's it for the zap. Now let's move on to the next one. Last but not least, we have Photoshop CS2. And to download Photoshop CS2, we have to do a search Zyovo Photoshop CS2, and then it comes up with this video here and it shows you how to download it. So that is it for the top five thumbnail making software. 
thanks for watching this video if you're wondering how you can get me to subscribe to you put hashtag thumbnail in the comment section and also i'm hosting a giveaway at the moment so i'd recommend watching that video link in the description so yeah that should be good so thank you for watching love peace and tech guys peace